life should i uh, go for a business or a job or uh, maybe i should uh, become a youtuber <laughs> what should i do in life what should i do professionally what should i do in my career it finance um, should i go into management jobs government is ips ai <laughs> all the realms of questions you will get these days because there are so many thousands of options gone are those days in the 70s 80s or even 90s where you would either be a lawyer or a doctor engineer or maybe a scientist or a ca you know maybe like or a government officer like or a politician or army right <laughs> so they were like at max 7 to 10 professions and teacher of course um it was relatively easier you could have seen some planets and you could have given answers but nowadays in 2023 when things are changing so rapidly and now it's still probable to say something but I just wonder how will Aslo just make predictions on career by the time 2040 comes in or 2050. Oh my God. <laughs> what will you predict? Another set of problems is, or I would rather say challenges is, you have uh, full-time, you had full-time jobs. Nowadays, you know, many people are shifting to part-time jobs. Okay. And temporary contract based jobs you know, gone are those days where there are all jobs with full time contracts so uh, now if a person is having a good period in his career will he uh, get another job which means his earlier job was uh, the contract ended so now will he get just another job or he will get a big job or what will happen you know it's very confusing right so these are some areas which will become more and more challenging as we move on and it is still also very challenging all right and that's exactly what we are going to discuss today so if you're new then please like this video after watching of course <laughs> and share it with somebody who is confused about their career and if you like this video, hit the thumbs up also at the end. And if you want a consultation for your career, you will find my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will surely find him irrespective of which career you have or you don't. <laughs> all right. So what is career? Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. Nowadays it's Dharma and Moksha are gone. There's only... Some Artha and Kama remaining, right? <laughs> so, what is career? Career is basically what we do primarily for our sustenance or uh, for the most part of our day. So, that means we need to check the 10th house, right? Or maybe not. <laughs> Why? See, imagine... How many hours of the day are you awake? Let's assume you take day naps and you sleep for 8 hours. Okay, You sleep 6 hours, in uh, 7 hours in the night and 1 hour in the day. Let's assume you take power nap, this, that or you just sleep 8 hours. Okay, Let's assume. So you have 16 hours. Now among those 16 hours, nowadays, especially if you are in India and in a metro, then almost easily you give around 10 hours to your job actually more because nine hours is your job and then two three hours every day goes in traveling right bangalore traffic yes have you been there write it down in the comments yes i've been there <laughs> brookfield was the place where i stayed oh my god the traffic was a nightmare although bangalore is an excellent city if at all there were some magic routes to go to your office and come back so so imagine you are spending around 12 hours or 11 hours so among the time that you are awake you know you divide like 11 10 or 11 by 16 how much it is you know almost like two thirds so if two thirds of your conscious day 
is spent on one thing do you think only one house should have the power to decide it just one house which means two thirds of the 12 houses which means around eight houses will have a say in the profession right but no we don't do that we say oh or at max we say no no actually you know we can also see the artha houses the second sixth and tenth of course so they will give but even then uh, it is just 25 percent <clears throat> of the chart but actually you need to check the artha houses even before our houses, you have to check uh, which house, what comes before Artha. Yes, you are right. Dharma comes before Artha. Dharm, Arth, it's not Arth, Dharm, Kam, Moksha. <laughs> so first check the Dharm. What is there in the person's Dharma? What is there? What planets are in the trines? What is there in the first house, fifth house, ninth house? That will tell you what the person is naturally inclined to. Natural inclination. If money was not a problem, this is what the person would do in his life. And when I say do in his life, it doesn't mean uh, professionally. In general, that is why the fifth house rules hobbies and the ninth house rules your uh, quest for divinity, learning, and all this. And lagna rules your intelligence, right? So... Or see the lag lagna fifth and nine. If you suggest profession without seeing the trines, what will happen is the person may have success or the person may not have success in short term or long term, but the person is sure to be miserable. So whenever you are looking at a person's profession, do not do this crime of just looking at the tenth or the artha houses. Otherwise. You are setting the person for a miserable life for the next 50 years. Okay, so please don't do that. And then you look at the Artha houses. The second, sixth, tenth. But now even, uh, even this is not enough, right? It's just uh, it's just 50%. We still have the Kama houses and the Moksha houses, right? Kama Trikon, Moksha Trikon. So then you look at the Kama Trikon, what is going on there. That will tell you what the person will like to share with, with others. That is why Kama Houses rule marketing and advertisement sales and all this. Because you are sharing something with others. If the person has prominent planets in the Artha Houses, so sorry, in the Kama Houses, it means the person will like to do some sales or marketing kind of job. Now, what are prominent planets like Sun, Moon, Lagna, Lord? These three are prominent planets, right? So now, for example, if you saw that in your second house, somebody has Jupiter, for example, and these are like very general things I'm saying, okay? It will not apply to individual charts, but the principles uh, will apply. You don't take it take the things literally okay so now for example i'll tell you about jupiter in second jupiter in second sixth or tenth can give you a career in finance especially if your date of birth has five okay so if you are born on fifth or you are born in may or 1985 65 75 55 whatever or even if you are born on 14th or 23rd then your basic number is five and the last case is if you add your date of birth, all the numbers, you get five. Uh, so adding to that, if you have Jupiter uh, in the Artha houses, then you know that this person might be good in doing CA and all this, chartered accountant, tax and all this. Uh, but that is not where the story ends, you know, because you need to first check the Dharma Trikon, what is there? Now, in the Dharma Trikon, 159, if Mercury is there, because see, Jupiter rules mathematics and Mercury rules the literal calculation part, okay? Calculation for anything, not just mathematics. So, adding to Jupiter's presence in the Artha houses, if there is Mercury in the Dharma Trikon, then you can say that yes you will go into 
accounting, finance and all this. Otherwise, it will not be the chartered accountancy side. It can be something else. Like, you know, if if suppose um, in the trines, you know, in the Dharma Trikon, if there is a planet like the Lord of the Third House sitting there. So it means the person can become a financial influencer because now the person has the propensity to sell or uh, speak something, share something, because it's the Lord of the third house. So now you have Jupiter in second, and you would have said, oh, you should become a CA, my God, disaster. Even if that person has five in date of birth, disaster, because the person doesn't want to sit and do the calculations. He wants to speak about finance, you know. So, especially if also if Rahu is there in the trines, the person will be related to technology somehow. And if the person has four in uh, his date of birth, okay. And therefore, you need to know what is going on in both the Dharma Trikon and the Artha Trikon. And then you have to check the prominent planets always. So, for example, if the prominent planets like Sun, Moon, Lagna, Lord, you have to see where, in which trine are they in. What is the nature of the sign? You know, is it a you know, fixed sign? Is it a movable sign? Is it a dual sign? If the person has dual signs, uh, prominent, then the person may have a prominent side hustle. This is what is frequently observed. So therefore, once you see this, then this is only from the D1 I am saying. Then you need to go and check the D9. What kind of talents are there in this person? So, for example, uh, if Mercury is there in the Navamsha trines, then this person can also be a good writer. If Jupiter is there in the trines, you know, the person may be very much interested in physics and mathematics. Okay. But the Lagna chart, the D1 will tell you if that interest in physics or maths will come out in the profession or will it just remain like a hobby. So if a person has uh, Jupiter in the fifth house in Navamsha, the person may have interest in physics or maths. But if that Jupiter in the Lagna chart has no connection with the Artha houses, then uh, the person will just read physics or maths as a hobby. The person may be very good at it, but he will not express it professionally. The person may not have a master's degree or PhD in physics or maths. Okay, so similarly, if moon is prominent, then the person may study psychology, psychiatry and all these things. The person, and if Saturn, Ketu are prominent, then the person may study astrology. If Mars is prominent, then the person may go into... Uh, cooking or army or administration. If Surya is prominent, definitely it's administration. But the thing is, sun can also give traits like dancing. A sun in the Navamsha trines will give you knowledge and expertise, interest in dancing. But uh, if that Surya is not in your 10th uh, house or it is not in a prominent position in your D1, then you will just be like a person who dances, you know, or sings in the bathroom, bathroom singer. <laughs> or you just dance, you know, when nobody's around, when nobody's looking at you. <laughs> so that is how you have to actually know. So, and then of course, who can forget the Dashamsha chart? The Dashamsha is very important because the Dashamsha will tell you like I made a video on the Dashamsha chart, you know, there I said, uh, it will tell you certain things which are inevitable in your job. You know, so in, in context of like, you know, accounting. So certain placements in the Navam, in the Dashamsha can tell you that you will need to do some counting and calculations, even though you are not in finance, you are in IT, then also you will end up in some uh, data analysis, statistics and all this, machine learning, AI. And within that also specifically, you will be forced to do statistical analysis. Even if you are a politician, you will have to do that. You know That the Dashamsha will tell you, the placement of Saturn, as I said in that video, if you have watched it. okay. So 
first you check the artha the dharma trikon okay that will tell you then the artha trikon then the kama trikon then you check the navamsha then you check the dashamsha and then what should you do check the dashas the dashas will tell you where is the person going to focus because see the chart will tell you what are the things which are there inside this person's head that is all the chart tells you what is inside but when will he or she focus and where and how much and will it be in line with the other things or not so for that you need to check the dasha so for example i said if jupiter is in your second house and mercury is in your fifth house you may like to go into finance and especially the ca aspect but now suppose when the person is 25 years old the person is getting uh, venus mahadasha okay uh, then venus then sun then moon then mars then rahu and jupiter is like in your next life <laughs> so next life you will become ca <laughs> how will it happen and the I, i don't know what age that is you have to add you know like 25 then 20 years it's 45 no then 6 years 51 then 10 years 61 no then mars 7 years 68 and then jupiter oof it's not happening in this life so therefore if you just blindly see oh i saw in that video jupiter in first house mercury in, uh, sorry jupiter in second mercury in trine so you should become a ca you have five in your date of birth and then this person is like oh but i don't want to be ca because uh, venus is telling something else venus mahadasha started at 25 and venus may be in the kama houses and the person wants to go towards you know marketing sales and all this writing expressing his or her opinions in this world okay and then you are like what the hell is going on this exotic astrology video is not working because you only saw half <laughs> you didn't see the rest of it okay because the dasha is telling something else so but now what will happen is in venus mahadasha when jupiter or mercury's antar dasha come the per, comes the person will do some counting calculation accounts work the person will do it in every day but that will not be his profession his profession is something else which is coming from venus because venus is the lord of the mahadasha the mahadasha lord decides what he will do in life <laughs> the antar dasha lord decides how much you will do and how much you will not do and the pratyantar get it <laughs> okay so it's very interesting that you have to see the overall chart and not just one chart at least three charts d1 d9 and the d10 without that you should not make a prediction on your career in somebody's career and even once you see the uh, the uh, areas you also have to see you know if the person will do good as an employee or as a freelancer or the person can have his own business you know if the sixth house is prominent and uh, there are no agni tattva planets in digbala or in kendra like sun mars then the person may do good as an employee that doesn't mean that person cannot do business but may be better off as an employee but if there are a uh, powerful agni tattva planets in the kendra like sun mars especially in the 10th or in the 1st then the person will have more tendency to be independent so the person should be self employed and if the person has a exceptionally good horoscope for profession you know the 10th house is linked with 11th uh, and the lagna is also linked then the person should do business okay so therefore you you have to first check the pr propensity what what is the default setting for this person does does he like to do job does he like to be self employed or does he like to be a businessman and then you have to see the potential for that you know for example you have seen a person has a very good horoscope which means he should do business 
But then somehow the upcoming dashas are not very favorable, 15, 20 years. Then you should suggest the person that you do some business on the side, but have a job which pays your bills. And you'll be very happy doing that. Otherwise, uh, it, it, it is problematic because then the person will have nothing to eat, right? So therefore, first horoscope, then dashas, okay? And then back to the horoscope again, all right? So I hope this clears matters and... This is just an example, you know, like you can get a thousand other things, you know, you have to know how to combine the nature of the planets and uh, the houses and the energies. Otherwise, if you just make predictions, oh, Jupiter is in second house, go and become a CML well, uh, disaster, right? All right. Okay, then thank you so much for your patience. If you're new, then please hit the thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. And for consultations, my website is down below. God is there with you all the time, even if you are <laughs> confused about your profession. Just pray to him and he will help you find it. All right. Thank you.